Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So in this video, we will see some more attributes in test ng and uh, let me go through one of the program and then I will tell you what attribute we are talking about. So if you see in front of me, there are two simple methods given and what these methods are saying, just try to understand that. So in the first method, it is looking for an input. So we have given a string input as input one and then there is an output which is an expected message that is an error message which I have given all right so I have just hard coded it but in the real world you may get the error message from a web page or by clicking on any of the button so I've just hard coded it right now okay and once we inside the method it says something like inside method okay I will remove the name here inside method and working with the input and here I have given input one then we are getting an output also. So assume that I am going on to some website and I'm getting an output which I have saved here. Okay. And then I'm asserting it that both my output and my expected message is same. Then the test case will pass else it will give me a message called output did not match. All right. So this is for input one. If you see, let's say I have more inputs like I have. It's not just input one. There are more input which I need to give and I need to uh, check the same logic on that input also. So if you see here on input 2 I have given Okay, and I have given that on input 2 I should get a success message All right, and I am trying to assert the same thing So if you notice that these two codes are exactly the same codes. There is no difference between the two Okay, the only thing which is changing right now it the, is the inputs which we are giving that is the inputs on which I am working and my expected output all right so what we can do here test ng provides me a attribute called data provider because it might possible right now there are only two test cases but let's say in my requirements I have uh, you know around 15 inputs around 20 inputs and I need to check and create a method for each input then I cannot go ahead and create a 20 methods like this for the same work okay because that is not extensible and the maintainability would be very high for that so what I need to do I just need to perform and I just need to write one test case and I want that one test case get loop again and again on the different inputs so for that test ng provides an out-of-the-box in uh, solution which is called data provider and how this data provider is used let me just uh, remove this second method and now we will try to do the same thing in from the first test case only okay so this is my first test case in the test. I just need to write data provider data I am doing control space Data provider and here I need to give my method name which gives me a data So I will tell you what this method is. I have already written down this method. I will show you where I have written Okay, so I am expecting that method get data. Let me show you that method Okay so this is the method which I have created get data and how does I create it? I have given the parameter called at the rate data provider then public and I'm expecting that this method will return me an array of an object all right and uh, it's a two-dimensional object which you see here and here I am providing the data as input one input one will give me an error message and input two will give me a success message all right simple so right now we are hard coding a data currently here yeah, but it might possible you don't want to hard code it you want to read it from some excel so you can do that also you can read the data into excel and save it into an array and you have to return that array okay so i am returning data here so now what will happen when i say get data it will call this method when i say get data in the test method it will call this method and it will get the data it will this method will return the data okay maybe by hard coded or excel as i have told you before and once this method receives the data we have to store that data somewhere so let's say example we have said string input and string expected message we have to write the same thing here okay because i have given a two dimensional array right so i will get two strings at a time so I'm copying it okay and I don't need this because that I'm getting that from my data provider and data provider maybe is getting from the Excel sheet 
okay so here everything is fine and everything is correct here also we have a data provider also let's see now what I am expecting because I have given a two-dimensional array right you see here and I have given two kind of data I want this entire method to run again and again two times with the different values so this is a very great advantage when you're working on any project in which your values just changes your input and output values get changes but the code remain the same so you can reuse the same test case for a different data so if I do a right click here and run as and run as test ng okay Okay, so let's see. Okay, so it says test run two failure one. Okay, if you see here, you know, on input one, it run perfectly fine. On input two, it's running, uh, give me an error. So that's a different reason that why it has given an error. So if you see here in data provider, I have given this. So my test case has run two times because the data is provided twice. So even if we have written at the rate test once, but my at the rate test has run twice on the basis of the data I am giving it. Okay. And let's say, you know, like instead of two, I write around 10 rows. Okay. So there are 15 rows or 20 rows. So this loop will go 10 times, 15 times because the same data I will get from the data provider again and again and the same method will run again and again so this is saving a lot of time of for me to write a code and to maintain it okay so this is one way through which the test ng can provide a data to the method all right so in the next video we will see some more uh, some more attributes which helped in test ng to write a uh, beautiful test cases while we are working on a project Alright, so thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.